guys welcome to crafting with Lola and Oscar so today I'm doing something a little different um as you guys may or may not know I like to I actually love like coloring and working with the inks and the dyes and whatever whatever so today I thought I would work with um, some of the Spectrum Noir and Harmony resistant um, um, retroactive I should say reactive dye let me get it right reactive dyes um some of these really uh cool um resist papers uh toppers from the crafters companion had uh, several years ago a collection called enchanted forest now she had enchanted christmas after that but enchanted forest had some of these resist papers so of course all my favorite ones i've used to make different things with and so these are some of the ones that I wasn't too crazy about the designs and the ones that are left like I've used these and these and uh, this one and then these other ones they just really weren't my favorites but I thought I would kind of mess around with it today and kind of show you um, my take on doing some of this now I don't know how it's going to look I'm going to try and do a little sunset do a little grass area I have uh, one of these uh, pins that they're just oh does this have alcohol in it? Lord, don't let it have alcohol in it. I wanted it to have water in it, but this may have alcohol. But this also is a brush pen. This has water in it. So I'm going to do a little flickering um, uh, process too. And I'll show you that in a minute. So you'll need your ink. You'll need your ink pads. And you'll need your little dauber things. And let's just get right on into this. You might need, uh, you might also want to have a uh, napkin uh, on hand somewhere. And... I'm going to have to change these out, a couple of them. Um, and I'll show you the reason why you might want to have a napkin. But well, you're going to want to have a napkin. Let's just go ahead and get your napkin. And I'm going to grab a couple of these little dauber things like here. And I'll just have to keep changing the pad on some of them, especially when I start getting to the grass. So the first thing what I want to do is I'm going to use some of the um, lemon. It's called lemon tonic. And I'm going to make a circle right here because I kind of want a sun kind of a sunset thing again don't sh I haven't done this in a while we're gonna see how it's gonna go um I'm gonna get a good amount on here and then I'll start working outwards but right now I want to kind of put that sun right in the middle <clears throat> now the reason why you also want to have a, a napkin is you don't want ink because ink can easily get on your hands then it'll mess up your project so a good idea is just to kind of Hold your, hold your stuff down with a piece of paper, okay? Now, hopefully this table won't get to moving too much. Let's see. So I'm going to kind of get me a circle going here, and I think I'll go in this direction. Yeah. We'll make it lighter on the way out, but darker on the way in, okay? Oscar has this toy and he just will not cut me a break. So now I'm going to make this really nice and dark on the end. So you, you may or may not can see right now. Alright, I think that's good. And then from there, I'm going to use some honey pot. I love me some honey pot. I don't know about y'all, but I love honey pot. 
Oscar, go lay down, bye bye. He just keeps, he has this toy in his mouth, and I don't know what he wants from me, um, but he can't have it right now. Is this gonna work? Oh, that ain't even working. Come on. So then I'm going to take some of this honey pot and I'm going to go around that. Just around the edges a little bit. Okay. And then I have some Chinese red. And I'm going to, I'm hoping this is going to work out right. This is Chinese red. Now there's a couple of reds. You got red berry and you got Chinese red, but I'm gonna use this Chinese red. Again, I wanna hold my little thing here because I don't want uh, I'm just gonna blend this all in. Then I'm gonna come back and do some honey pot. pot. I want to go too far down because I'm going to start blending the green and the blue up going this way. I just want to get uh, okay and then the last thing what I want to do and with these colors again this honey pot is this Harmony Spectrum Noir Water Reactive inks of what I'm using. So I use Honey Pot. Okay, I'm using some Lemon Tonic to go back in the middle. One little bit more of that. And then we're going to start with the greens. Okay. Turn it this way. So this was lemon tonic, water reactive, lemon tonic. And then the last one was this uh, Chinese red. Okay. It's Chinese red. So the Chinese red is a little, little like almost orange, has a little orange in it. And that's the difference between that and the berry if you're wondering. Okay, so the next step is I want to put in some green. And I want to kind of put in some uh, some grasshopper, some spring meadow, and some the, like the Christmas green. This is called green leaf or green holly or green. Okay, so I have one for that. And then I may go back and mix that with the, the lemon tonic. I don't know. I'm just trying to see how this is going to look. So I'm going to start out dark and then I'm going to go light. Let's see. And again, I'll work it with the um, uh, Enchanted Forest collection. That's what I'm working with, with their resist paper. So I'm going to start with some green. Let's just see. And this is just called Holly Leaf. And I don't want a lot on it, so I'm going to turn it actually this way. I don't want to get it nice and dark. Okay, put that like that. 
There's got to be a better way to do this. Now, one of the ways is the little finger daubers. I do have those. I just uh, haven't decided what colors I want to, you know, put on them. So that's why I haven't uh, really used them. And then, uh, okay, yeah, now we're going to use this grasshopper, a spring meadow, spring meadow. And I don't have a thingy. Why don't I have a thingy? All right. I gotta get another thing right here. Let's get that. Spring Meadow. And if you, you, yeah, you can see it's a tree. You can see this is a tree. Yeah. I just want, I've had this one here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Again, get your napkin. Hold it down. And I'm just blending these into this. Alright, let me go with that. And then I'm going to put some more of that yellow tonic. A lemon tonic right here and blend these two together and then the next step is adding some water which is always fun so, so there you have Now, I could add a little bit more spring metal. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I think I am. Okay, where is it? Okay, a little bit more spring metal. That. There we go. So now the next step, what I want to do is I'm going to take some water and I'm just going to spritz it on here. And quite unfortunately, these little things have sprayers. I think this is alcohol. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see. So this is actually, you can get them from Spe Spectrum Noir and they're little sprayers. And I think I got this marked alcohol, but I don't really know if it's alcohol. It might be because I was working on Oh, there's alcohol. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Alright. So, and I have another one somewhere, but I really would love to use a sprayer. But in this case, I'm gonna use this pen. And these little pens, you can put water in it or whatever you want it. It doesn't matter. Um, they're good for when you're doing water coloring and stuff like that. But in this case, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to push it. It has the same, it works the same way those markers do, where you push it, you pump it, or prime it to get the water to come down into the nib see how that worked but in this case I'm going to put some water in my hand and I'm going to just do one of these jobs like this and I'm gonna let it sit a few minutes so you can kind of see is always fun too. You don't want to just put water on it. You want to kind of how much actually got on it. <laughs> you didn't put enough. Alright, let's see. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, so now you probably can begin to see changes in it and once I dab it we'll get the effect, the effect that I want all that that wasn't a lot of water where did all that water go all right I want a little bit right here so I'm gonna try
All right, there we go. So, there we have it. So now you can take this and you can put it, if you want to cut it down, you can cut it down a little bit or you can keep it as is and then uh, matte and layer it on something and put a little sentiment on it and keep it moving. I absolutely love this. Again, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing today, just working with the Enchanted Forest collection, which is a part of the, uh, and a part of that collection came these resist pads, okay? And I'm using the uh, Harmony, the Spectrum Harmony water resistant or water reactive, I should say water reactive um, ink pads to make a topper. So now with that being said, let's look at one of the cards or one of the toppers that I made. Now you, you may or you may not recall I've done a number of these. Um... Start again. You may and may not recall, I've done a number of things with that particular ink. Uh, ink, uh, that collection um, but right now I'm going to just show you a card that I'm actually have cut out and just a really simple card nothing really special uh, and a way that we could put this together right so I'm not going to cut this one but let me show you the one that I have put together so the same I did the same processes but um, this was one of the toppers I used just a um, nesting dye put a little background on it these were this was one of my favorite ones i love this one um and then i also used a really pretty uh embossing folder which had nothing to do with the collection if i'm correct i just found it in my in my feed and i thought oh this will be kind of pretty on the paper so we have this for the size we have a sentiment so we have two of these and then from this piece of paper as you can recall i just cut that out of here Okay, and this is going to go on my inside. So let me show you how I put this card together real quick. And then that basically will be the um, tutorial for today. Alrighty, so see, I just wanted to put something on the outside without it being, without having to put a whole bunch of matte and layering and all that kind of stuff, matte and layer. What's going on with this tape? Oh, she's taking it off. All right. All right, now I want to put this going in this direction. I should have my glasses. I do not have them. That one's about right, okay? And then we'll put the other one on the inside so it'll go like that. I'm gonna turn this over just to make sure I can get this fairly even. And I put gilding wax on this, if you're wondering what I did here. I just put some gilding wax. So we have that like that. Okay. This is the part that I cut out. I just put it on some black paper. This is the inside. It'll go like that. And I had a sentiment somewhere for the front, but of course, I don't know where it is. I don't know. 
don't know what I did. I have no idea, y'all. I, I don't know what. Sometimes I wonder myself, what is going on with Lola? All right. Could be better, but that's good for now. Okay. And then the sentiment goes just in the inside. Now, I was going to put another color right here, but because I, I have the black going, I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to leave this alone, edge it up a little bit, and leave that black on the inside like that. I really kind of like that. But so if I did make a little boo-boo there, but I don't think, you know, it's going to make a difference too much. This collection was, ooh, um, ooh, child, this has been several years. This is several years old. At least, probably three years old. At least three years old. All right. And we'll just put this one in the middle right there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Gotta be careful because this paper kind of kind of tears. Oh, why does it don't look? It's like it's not straight. Oh, why, well, considering it's a nesting die, it should be even. So I might have to go around this. I, I, what I might do is take a black pen and to darken it up, make it look a little bit better. Because especially right there, I'm not really happy with that part right there. Let me show you what this looks like from here. So you fold it up like that. And then the last thing for this card, again, is I'm just uh, going to put this. And we'll close the card up. And then we're going to want to put this in the middle. Make sure I get it in the middle as best as possible, not to hang over the edge. Yeah. I believe that should be about right okay. see I think I'm gonna line this up here use this mat right because over. All right. And there we have a really, really not, you know, just a really cute card. Oh my God. Oh, I was like, it's upside down. I forgot. <laughs> it's not upside down. And then I have a, oh, here we go. A cute little, uh, Thing that says dream there we go and that will go right that can go like right here right there and there you have it a really cute little card something really quick simple easy breezy I was gonna say cover girl <laughs> oh, God. I don't know why I was gonna say cover girl so anyway, here's this one that I've done. Again, you can either do the same thing. You can make this out of one whole card. Um, and for the life of me, I had another one. But of course, when I go to record, I can't find it anywhere. I wanted to show you the other one that I did, um, which is just amazing, because literally I've been looking at it all night long. Now, of course, you're like, Lola, is your desk messy? Well, kind of is because I got a lot I'm just doing a lot of stuff you know I don't know I'm just doing a lot of stuff um and I had it but I don't know what I did with it so now I'm sitting here fitting it around trying to find it when I really just had it which is so frustrating that is taking me down the road y'all 
Alright, well, anyway. Let me do a couple of other things, seeing how I'm recording tonight. And today, tonight is just kind of like a, a bogus night. Not a bogus night. That's not what I wanted to say. Just a night of doing a whole bunch of stuff. And I want to show you some, a couple more ideas of stuff. Alright, so we got that out of the way. The next thing... I wanted to show you something. I was trying to make this white card, um, which uh, is so, so pretty uh, with this white butterfly. Now this butterfly, you guys may or may not recall, it was from the beautiful butterfly collection. Let me put something underneath so you can see it. It's from the big, it's from the beautiful butterfly collection. And I saw it's really pretty white card. Um, and I just couldn't seem to get it together. It's just like, I don't know, that looked much better in the video than it did anywhere. So, um, it's this guy right here, uh, which is part of the garden uh, collection, the Nature's Garden collection that, that uh, Sarah tends to do. And it's this big butterfly. The butterfly is, I love this butterfly. And I, I mean, she, she likes butterflies, but this is about my favorite one she's ever created. It is three dies, and they're big. They're big. And I can't get them out. Ain't that the devil? Okay. I ain't gonna mess y'all. Okay, I just want to show you the size of them. Okay. All right, so you have one size, and you just want like a solid butterfly. Okay, and it's pretty big. They're, that's about four inches, I guess. I don't know. Don't get me lying. I don't know stuff like that. And then here's this layer here. And then here's the real delicate layer. And you can use them two together, one together. It just depends on how you want to use it. But what I wanted to do was, I thought, I said, oh, this is a pretty butterfly. So I, what I did was I put it together. Let me show you the packaging again. Okay. And um, I put it together. And what I did was I just put some glitter behind it. And then I folded it up so that the wings would. So it's just a really, as you can see, it's very dimensional. And it's just so, so pretty. So then I was like, well, what am I gonna do this? Well, I have some hunky dory paper. If y'all know what hunky dory paper is, hunky dory, you have, they do all kinds of stationery. And some of it's so pretty. And this was a frame that's been sitting on my desk forever. And just a few minutes ago, I said, oh, I know what I could do. Oh my God, it would be so pretty if I took a piece of acetate. Let me see if I can find a piece of bigger one. Okay, this is good enough. Now, I'm not going to do it permanently right now. I just want to give you an idea. I said, if I took a, if I took the frame, you know, I don't know what the card would look like, but this would be the focal part of the card, right? And if I took the at frame, put it on a piece of acetate, and then go ahead and put the butterfly over like that, and then decorate, then design the card, that would be so, so, so pretty. That would just be absolutely beautiful. So that's just a little something I was working on. Okay, and we're just I'm just doing all kinds of little fun stuff tonight. So you can get, get some ideas. Maybe you maybe you in a in a block and you're like, I can't think of nothing to do. So this is kind of a fun night that you could uh, do that. Anyway, that's a big beautiful butterfly. So pretty. And I did use some glitter, uh, a glitter pen on it. Uh, one of these pens here that contains they're just they're just solid, but it's glitter. So just a glitter pen. And then I, that's how you can see, see how sparkly it is. I think you can. Yeah, you have to kind of, yep. So that's one of the ideas. Um, then also, as you guys know, I love those beautiful embossing folders. You guys probably remember, if you haven't, um, if you haven't seen them, um, remember Crackers Companion had some flower, flower, um, embossing folders i love i love me some 3d folders so here are some of the folks some of the cards that i've made i haven't like designed whatever they're going to be yet but i've just used some of the, my ink pads and did uh just decorated them i really like that one too i think this is very very pretty and eventually i'll make cards out of them i absolutely love this one so I just wanted to show you some of these, some ideas. Do I have this thing upside down? Oh, I got it upside down. All right. And I think it was like six folders. And then, you know, I just wanted to show you what it looks like if you do it. See how it's 3D embossing. So that's just black. I haven't done anything with that one yet. Um, here's another one, the sunflowers using gilding wax. 
and I had the camera zoomed in a little bit because I really want you to be able to see. Um, I love this one. Now, all these are used either ink and gilding wax or like this one right here. It's all gilding wax. Oops, sorry. It's all gilding wax. And, but this one here, I used the ink pads and then I went over it with gilding wax, as you can see. And then this one is ink, some pens, and some sparkle. Sparkle. I don't know if that's the word I want, sparkle. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so here's another one. Gilding wax. All right. And then here are these two here, which this is my favorite one. Not favorite one, but I really like this. I think that's a really pretty one, as well as this one right here. All right. And then this is uh, one that uh, I used a... Uh, embossing folder and it was a what do you call them things Pe no but i lived in hawaii for so long i still can't remember the thing called y'all know peacock it was a peacock so tonight i was feeling around and i said oh here's one i'm gonna do something i'm gonna try something different so what i did was it's still one of the same folders this is just so pretty i think i'll go out a little bit um this is so so pretty and what i did was i used gilding wax on it and it just it's just so pretty and i actually uh decided i said you know what i'll do i'm gonna cut this out so i actually and i don't like um doing fussy cutting because it makes me fussy it just makes me cranky i don't like fussy cutting but i fussy cut this out and then i said well, let me see how this would look so i got a, uh these are some fans believe it or not by anagraph and i just had them cut already and i said this would probably be really pretty if i took this and first i was like oh you know what i think i'm gonna put it on a piece of gold paper so i put this down like that i was trying to play around with it i said let me uh put this on a piece of gold paper and see how this would really look so i put it on a piece of gold paper you could try i tried copper i didn't quite you know i tried it with that that didn't quite look really good you know i was like i oh, don't know you know maybe for a mat and a layer maybe but that really doesn't look too good and then i tried to put it on this piece of gold paper this is just like paper and i really wasn't feeling that but this mat i thought you know that really looks good and so then i said yo you know what would be really pretty if i took these fans cut some more fans out and um and lay this on like that and then I would have another fan maybe down here. I think I would double them up for thickness or something. Or put some put some pad, put some notepad. I mean, not notepads, Lord. Foam, you know, some foam on this. So this would lift up and then matte and layer this with, uh, now it wouldn't be pink. I'm just trying to give you a general idea. And I was like, I think that would be just so pretty. So let me take this one off so you can kind of get a visual. All right. I think that would be just beautiful. So that's... Just some of the ideas, some of the things that I'm working on for tonight, uh, for the rest of the week or whatever. Anyway, so tonight we just kind of focused on that. Um, what we did tonight again was the Crafters Companion um, Spectrum Noir Harmony Resist Water, Water Activated. You know, crap, I can never say that right, y'all. Harmony Water Reactive, because it reacts to water. Ink pads with the resist paper, and then uh, we came uh, showed you how to do uh, some blending with that, and then I just put together a cute little card, just a cute little card, which is from that same doing the same process, uh, but I actually cut it out. So showed you how to do a, a topper, and then also just did a cute little card, yeah, just like that. All right. So thanks guys for watching. Just a real quick little uh, thing tonight. Um, again, you're watching Crafting with Lola and Oscar. And then tonight, uh, it just in review, like I was saying a few minutes ago, um, I'm just working with the uh, with the Enchanted Forest collection. All right, you guys take care. Bye bye.